Good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. So today, I want to give a little devotional thought on putting God first. It's a good reminder for us on occasion to think about this and really look at our lives and see where things are as far as priorities go. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, about Your body, what you wear, is not life more important than food and the body, more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father, well, he feeds them. He cares for them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about such things? So how, see how the lilies of the field, they grow, they do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon, all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and Tomorrow is thrown into the fire. Will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. So do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things. And your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. Matthew six twenty-five through 33 a section from the Sermon on the Mount. There is a scene from the classic movie Chariots of Fire. Great movie. I have the motion picture soundtrack on vinyl as well. And this scene has always been forever embedded in my mind. The movie tells a story of Eric Lytle. He went to the 1924 Olympics in Paris, France and was slated to run the 100-yard dash competition on a Sunday. There's only one problem. This incredible athlete took his faith more seriously than his running. For Lytle, Lydell, his faith in God told him he could not run on Sunday. All efforts to persuade him otherwise failed. A British dignitary finally cried out in frustration, What a pity! We couldn't have had persuaded him to run. After a moment's pause, his coach responded, It would have been a pity if we had, because we would have separated him from his source of his speed. Eric Lytle's obedience to his faith was his source of strength and purpose. His firm stand for God helped him to be one of the great inspiring athletes of the 20th century. I know it might seem trivial and petty. Why can't you just run, you know, go to church after or pray before? Um, But, you know, in life we have to make tough choices. And putting God first above everything else, taking that day of rest seriously, taking your faith seriously, goes against the grain of our society today. So ask yourself, is your desire to serve Jesus greater than your other desires? Oh, today is a good day to take another look at your priorities. I've never met a person that put God first and later regretted it. No, putting God first is vital. It's important. There should be no other gods before him. So ask yourself, what can you do to put God first in your life each and every day? What makes Matthew 6.33 such a significant scripture for us as 
Christians seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. I want to end with Psalm 21. The Psalm of David. The king rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You granted him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. You came, you came to greet him with rich blessings and place a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings and made him glad with joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. To the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. Putting God first. <laughs> You'll be surprised what God will do if he is top priority in your life. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you. We praise you for this morning, this time. Together, we thank you for your word. Lord, that reminds us of where our life needs to be at. Uh, Lord, you told your disciples, you want to follow me, deny yourself, grab your cross daily and follow me. Lord, denying self means we're going to put you ahead of everything in our lives. Lord, I pray we do that each and every day. And Father, forgive us for the times we haven't. We let daily things get in the way. Lord, thank we have forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, bless us now this day. May we go forth being your light to the world around us, your hands, your feet to those who come across our path. We love and we thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all God's children said, Amen. Folks, have a blessed day. And coffee on.